Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Rad Tarot and this is going to be Libra Sun, Libra Moon and Libra Rising weekly tarot reading for August 13 to August 19, 2018. Now this is going to be a four card tarot spread and after I'm done with the tarot reading uh, we're going to do as well a Lenormand reading for Libra for the week that it is coming. Now the first card here is going to show up uh, the topic for your week Libra then the second card resembles uh, the core of the situation or what is behind the first card you know what is the cause of it then we do have the challenges that you Libra should uh, have to cope with for the duration of the week and then uh, the last card represents the guidance that it is advisable to follow so let's see what you got here now, the first card that is going to be the Ace of Swords. Alright, so Ace of Swords is associated with truth. Ace of Swords is associated with giving up a, um, an, an accurate diagnosis, obtaining an, an accurate perception of what is, is that you do have right now, either as a means or either as a relationship, you know, or the situations in general into your career and into your relationship. And the Ace of Swords serves as a um, inertia to improve your circumstances uh, <clears throat> now it is very likely that when you have when we have that card this week is going to be about a uh, creative improvement into your environment most likely however caused um, by the uh, I, I find it very hard to express that kind of a sentence uh, <clears throat> It is, it is caused by the poignancy of the situation, you know, when, when a person kind of like struggle, 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 and finally they say enough is enough, you know, and I have to do something about it, I have to do something, you know, to kind of um, cut off uh, this either a misfortunate flow of events, you know, or a misfortunate unfoldment of the situation. When we do have the Ace of Swords, uh, it is likely that this is going to happen through a um, argument, through a, a very potent and beneficial conversations for, from the both sides of the play. Either career-wise or relationship-wise, this card asks you to confront people uh, with what you think, with your ideas, with your expectations as well, you know, and just lay it all out. So that week is going to be you laying it all out and making something out of it. And uh, the core of the situation here for you Libras, this is going to be the Eight of Pentacles. So that card here as a follow-up is associated with a, a planning, with a, a very slow and steady um, approach towards a certain situation, being meticulous about the minor details in the situation. So it's kind of like you do want to achieve something. And the path to that direction here goes through some sort of candor and uh, that candor needs to be directed to your relatives to your co-workers you know to to your boss and supervisors or to your partner which is in relationship now what is important here is that despite of what the um, differences are in between you and your partner for example and co-workers etc and then all the people in general around you or with the situation is that these things can be worked out this is um, described here with the eight of pentacles uh, and they can be worked out only by uh, you know by trying both to find you know both sides of the parties here needs to find a common ground and that could happen through a compromise not exactly but through experimenting what works for you both all right so you have to be ready you know to have ups and downs in that week um, so you can find what what works for you and the ones who are involved into your situation as well best then the next card represents the challenges that you have to face during that week. We have the Two of Pentacles, a little bit unrelated to the topic here because the Two of Pentacles uh, describes the shenanigans that may happen outside of that situation which, is, which are going to occupy your time and are going to occupy, you know, your... Um, uh, your not, not your intention but your focus. And they will serve as a um, 
as a distracting tool from you to kind of lead um, lead the negotiations here because that looks like as in the negotiations all right uh, and uh, when we do have the two of Pentacles it is a about being uh, being a prone to fluctuate among uh, many activities you know so it's gonna be as well very busy week for what it seems and the uh, undertakings are not going to be necessarily connected all of them not going to be necessarily connected to the main topic here which is those fruitful conversations and negotiations that you're going to have but there will be uh, you know the ordinary stuff of life that haven't been popped up until this very moment but right now you know for some reason they are just overwhelming you in a certain um, in a certain extent what is the advice from the two of pentacles is to be um, adaptable very adaptable and you need to create your plan here where the eight of pentacles lies in a such way that you uh, kind of have a spare time you know for some additional enterprises which may uh, which may appear um, every day um, moving on forward into the week you know every now and then <clears throat> And the last card here for you, Libras, represents the uh, guidance that you need to adopt. That will be the Ten of Cups. So guidance-wise, this card um, advises you to be objective first of uh, what is in for you and what is in for the other side of the party. Now, you need to realize that if you want to achieve something first you need to as well give from yourself so there is there should be something in as well for the people that you work with or for your partner in life if this is about negotiating the rules of your relationship as well i mean everybody needs to be happy the way that the deal is sealed at the end and uh, if it comes to a um an undertaking in a situation which you need to place the accurate diagnosis here uh, is that you need to uh, realize that um, you know what what you are achieving at this very moment it is just only one step of development so you have to kind of like uh, as soon as you uh, have your success Libras you have to place in front of yourself a higher criteria here so this card um, resembles in that particular sense that you need to start um, aiming for more when you when you are successful into one thing you have to move on to the next one which is greater than the first one you have been marked as success and this is as far as it goes that's our reading for your week now the uh, Lenormand reading here we do the first card that we do have for you Libras this is going to be the uh, Maiden then the second card that is going to be uh, the Garden and the third card for you, oh wow, okay. So it's gonna be a negotiations that you're going to lead, definitely. Now we do have the book. So that will be a, a chatter with a woman in uh, your social environment. Uh, it doesn't say if it's going to be, you know, with a, a friendship, romantic, or a, a business interest. But with that woman, you're going to, um, not negotiate but uh, kind of like um, chatter about uh, a new ways or kind of like a, a new uh, direction of development that haven't been considered thus far I, I will draw one more card from the Lenormand just to see what is that what is that all about and this is about money it's about growth it's about development into one career so it's most likely business oriented here so the Norman says that <clears throat> either someone from your environment are going to a social environment are going to approach you with a a business proposition uh, unconsidered thus far that regards to resources and money uh, you know or it's just in general women that you know are going to approach you with uh, something some information regarding money that you are not aware of <clears throat> for till this very moment so with that being said this was your um, weekly tarot and Lenormand readings Libras I hope that you enjoyed it and you liked it and you can make a sense of it and if you are interested in a private reading with me everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.